Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can connect a domain to Firebase. So if you haven't already, then you should uh, go buy a domain. And I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to do it right now. It's really easy. So I use Namecheap, you can use whatever you want, but if you want to use the same uh, service as me, then uh, you know, use Namecheap. It's, it works, it's fine, I, uh, I haven't had any problems with it, so yeah. Basically what you do, you uh, search for the domain you are looking for. In my case, I'm going to buy wikteep.com. Great domain, yep. Nine bucks, that's uh, alright. Put it in the cart, you don't need any of these extra, uh, extra things other than uh, this uh, whois card, but it's free apparently so yeah that's perfect all right wiktip.com one year it looks great confirm order and here you have to either sign in or create an account and just pay like you normally would so yeah i'll see you once i've done that all right now that you have uh, bought your domain you want to head over to account uh, domain list and you want to hit uh, manage on uh, the domain you're going to use in my case wiktip.com the best domain there is and once we are here you want to go over to advanced dns and just uh, leave this tab open because what we are going to do now is basically add c name records and some other uh, stuff to here so that uh, firebase can use that domain so head to firebase go to console and uh, uh, select the right uh, project in my case it is wikteep then once you're here you want to hit go to hosting okay so now you want to uh, hit the connect domain write the domain you just purchased Hit continue, copy this value right here, and you can see it says that we need to uh, add the txt records to your DNS provider. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So head over to the tab we opened, it add a new record, text record, and for the host value, it says you should add a uh, wiktape.com but uh, namecheap just uses uh, like the at mark or yeah default host and paste that in here and let's put that to one minute now this uh, take a while before uh, it gets verified but you just have to be patient when dealing with uh, domain domains in general so yeah just wait like maybe even up to a couple of hours okay so time has passed now so let's try again verify right so once the page is verified you can read what you have to do now you have to add these a records to your domain by visiting the dns provider or registrar all right so basically you just copy these values Head over to this page again, a record, same host, add in the IP address, do one minute, and do the same for this one, a record, host, IP, and one minute, and once that is added, you hit finish, and if you get this, which you probably are, then you hit connect there as well and you can see that just yeah just keep it keep it like this you don't have to verify ownership because it is the same domain basically but all you have to do is uh, once you go here you add one with a uh, www and one with a at sign all right so once you have added those records, click finish and just wait again, like you do with domains. Just 
take some time, do something else, do some programming, and come back in a couple of hours. This this uh, process might take like a whole day. I've heard so just be patient. But you can view and yeah. When the one thing that I forgot to mention is that you should just delete the ones that uh, are there by default. So we'll delete the two top ones. All right. So after a while, you will see that the status changes to connected, which means that the domain is now working, as you can see. So yeah, thanks for watching and like this video if it helped you. Bye.